nature is struggling. Eight million tonnes of plastic in our oceans. Well, I have become addicted to plastic. 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 We all know about the last straw, right? That last little push in the wrong direction. The weight stop weight that won't stop. We can take no more. It climbs on top and suddenly everything collapses like a wave that rises high then crashes and this is where we are right now. I mean, we all know the stats. A truckload of plastics in the ocean every 60 seconds. A straw used for just minutes exists for 450 years. By 2050, there'll be more plastic in the sea than fish. We get it. And I know, I know, the last straw, it seems like such a tiny thing to tip us over, but it's not. Because it's not about that straw. It's about the way they all add up. And that means to take care of all of it. You don't take care of all of it. You focus on something, each of us, one thing, one effort, one repeated action at a time. And when you think about it that way, the last straw is no different from the first, just one part of a process, no better, no worse. After all, the last straw in one direction is the first straw in reverse. Sometimes we have to move inches to go miles, but with each straw not used, we can smile knowing we didn't contribute to a pile that breaks the back of the ocean but invested in the notion we can bring the ocean back and your last straw is the first straw towards that and that is how it always works one small action becomes a movement in the direction of a solution of course we can stop this straw apocalypse we caused it so now we either do the right something to fix it or the right nothing to pause it and that's what the last straw is nothing just enough nothing though to push us in the wrong direction or the right one because a straw is such a tiny thing until we don't use it and if each of us refuse it just watch how quickly all of that nothing adds up